Now then, this young lady is the world's most successful 19-year-old. She's a star of film, television and music, and she's a star who's risen over the Hollywood Hills. So why is Hilary Duff, who's perhaps best known as Lizzie McGuire in the Disney sitcom, Natasha, my daughter, will be very excited. Now writing songs about the damage stardom can do. Well, her new album's called Dignity, and it's out next month, as well as a new film and lots, lots more in the diary. Jasmine Lawson went to meet the teenager who says she's determined to live her life in the limelight without compromises. Here are the best bits from her chat with one of America's youngest golden girls. Idol to millions of pre-teens, multi-platinum selling artist, actress, owner of a clothing line and face of her own perfume. Life is certainly smelling sweet for Hilary Duff and she's still a teenager. Hilary's latest album Dignity is out soon. Arguably the star has behaved with considerably more dignity than some of her more well-known LA contemporaries who are either pictured falling out of nightclubs or into rehab. The album's title track is all about the fake Hollywood lifestyle. People don't really have regard for other people and one of the lines in it is like, you know, you'd go, and you go everywhere, you're, ev you're everywhere. You'd show up to the opening of an envelope. Like, don't, it's just all about partying and it's all about that lifestyle and it's so unhealthy and, and people care about the stupidest things like if they have the hottest new bag that hasn't come out yet, they think it's like big news. And it's just not, you know, there's a war going on. You grew up amongst that first hand um, and people would look at your life as being, you know, crazy. How do you keep your feet on the ground? How do you keep it real? Obviously my job is not so normal, you know, and, and I do have a crazy life and it's a lot of fun, but also it's not real. Um, so I think having people around me like my family and my friends that tell me, what they need, what I need to hear, when I need to hear it. You've had your more than your fair share of invasions of privacy. Uh, you've been at the centre of a, a high-profile stalking case. Do you ever wish you were more anonymous? Sometimes it's just you always feel like you're constantly being stared at, you know, or you know someone doesn't understand that if they come up and ask you for this, and it's ten o'clock at night, and you're getting, you know, your first meal of the day, and you're like starving and whatever, that you know. 40 other people have come up to you that day and, and asked for the same thing. It's flattering, but also there, I wish that there could be a time where you could turn it off. Hillary's achieved enormous success, but she's also had to put up with criticism. Her latest movie, Material Girls, was panned. Her weight has also come under scrutiny. How do you cope with criticism, for example, when people say, oh, she's got an eating disorder, and looking at you, you just look perfectly healthy? I did lose weight and I wanted to get fit and what, that's what happens when you turn into a young adult, you know, you start to become more conscious of, of the way you look and, and want to do something about it and I obviously, you can look at me and tell that I don't have an eating disorder, you know, and that I don't, I'm not unhealthy. The critics can say what they like. With a fan base like hers, Hilary Duff is not going to be put down for long. Jasmine Lawson, London Tonight. See, she's grown up a bit since Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. No, no okay. There we are. <laughs>